Hey, morning. You're here early. Mm. Mm. I love you too. What's up? Mm, I know you said you had today off, but it's... It's 8 in the morning. Oh. Mm. So many kisses. Don't I have morning breath? Let me brush my teeth and um, help yourself to the fridge, okay? Mm-hmm. We'll plan something good for today. Where do you want to go? Just stay in? Are you sure? Okay, well, I hope I have enough here to do. Well, I thought you could use the time to relax from your job, yeah. But people who need time to relax don't usually wake up bright and early at what, like 7.30 a.m.? On their day off. Uh, give me a sec. Mm. <laughs> you are adorable. 7.30 isn't early for you, huh? How's your son? Oh, good. Play dates? Sleepover for him? Ah, uh, then just us. Alright, teeth all clean. Which making hot stuff? <laughs> we must be close. When you first got comfortable enough to start using my kitchen, you always tried to make something really nice. And now you raid my cereal boxes. <laughs> hey, gotta feed my pet, Delph. Mmm. Of course I'll never stop calling you that. Go sit on the couch. I'll make you a proper breakfast. I like cooking for you. Baby, it's not special treatment. It's far from special treatment. Actually, today, I'm going to show you what special treatment actually is. Uh-uh, I'm cooking. Mmm. But you got that raise. Yeah, you're doing well. Well, everyone needs a break. I am going to cook you a smaller portion than you like. Because... <laughs> uh, one second. Um, here. Here you go. Because I'm only holding you off until the real meal comes. I can stretch out every dime. So I always end up having spare money around for things like this. So let's order out. We can be unhealthy today. Because <laughs> I said so. <sighs> November is one hell of a month. It's coming to a close, though. <laughs> Never mind. Though, you know what? I can't help but have my suspicions. You've been ignoring me a bit, haven't you? Well, you don't always respond to my text messages. Sometimes you ignore me altogether. That's no fun. You shouldn't treat your girlfriend that way. Hmm. And yet, here you are, rushing to meet me like the big puppy you are. You can't make up your mind. Oh. <sighs> You know, communication is really important in relationships. <laughs> Hold on a second. Oh, this again. I know, I know. You know more than me because you're older than me and you know all about communication, don't you? But why aren't you communicating with me then? Uh-huh. 
you know, I'm dating you because I'm romantically attracted to you. I don't want a dad. Don't bring up my daddy issues. Look, I know you're older than me, but maybe I have some wisdom too sometimes, you know? I can help. Fine, if you're so sure you know what I'm gonna say, what am I gonna say? Okay, fine, maybe you did know what I was gonna say, but you really do need to communicate with me. Oh, man. Look, I haven't had a proper conversation with you in like two weeks. I thought we were dating. What happened? <sighs> Why am I even asking? I know what happened. Now I know what happened. No thanks to you. No, I, I am... I am mad. But... I think I have a right to be, if you really didn't talk to me for that long. What, do you think I'm being unreasonable? Then we're on the same page. If I didn't talk to you for that long, you'd be angry too, wouldn't you? I really, really like you. But this is not going to work if you don't talk to me. Okay? And that can start with you not always thinking you're right. Just because you're older. Mm. Okay? <laughs> I can't tell if you're changing the subject or not. Do I really smell that good? <laughs> I'm not wearing any perfume. Yeah, I put on lotion last night. Mm, it's like a pear rose, I think. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm glad you like it. I'll take note. Speaking of, do you want to try it? I mean, I have some left. It's in my room. Here, you sit there. Yeah, you can just set your dish on the coffee table. Okay, here. This. Mmm, <laughs> pear and rose. It's supposed to be calming. I got it from Sasha. Aromatherapy? Yeah? I like it. She's been going out with this new guy, and he loves the stuff she's been putting on. So, she asked me if I wanted to try it. I guess it's really good, if you like it too. Maybe this is some sort of magical man attractor. <laughs> Here. Mm, it smells so good. Let me put it on your hands. It's okay, just trust me. There, does that feel good? I know you have a lot of stress here. Oh, I love your hands. <laughs> so big. Shh, it's fine. Just let me massage them. Hmm. Poor thing. You've been working so hard. <sighs> I hope you know how much I admire you. You deal with a lot of problems, and you just take it. Oh, if we can work on that communication... <laughs> mm. Hush. <sighs> you care about me, right? Good. And you still like me? <laughs> Don't say of course. Because a guy who likes me, even remotely, wouldn't act like you've been acting. 
but I'm not being salty. I'm just really glad you're finally talking to me, even if I know the reason you weren't. Idiot. I really shouldn't have to spell it out for you. So, mind if I sit here? Mm, you're warm. I wanted to tell you this before, but then you stopped really talking to me that often, and I didn't really know when to say it. But I think you've picked up on it by now. Actually, I know you have. My goal in life is to be a mother. No, no, <laughs> I, I'm not trying to go there. I mean, okay. <laughs> I love caring for kids. That's why I'm a babysitter. I don't offer to babysit for you just because I like you. Like, I like the little family you have going on. And I like that you've sort of... Uh, I've said this in my head like a hundred times, right when I need to actually. I'm really grateful that you've let me be so close to your family. You know, closer than I would have been if I weren't a babysitter. There's no real good way to say that, I guess. But I do appreciate it. I hope you know what I mean. Well, I mean... Ugh, oh, man. I... I love the relationship we've built. And I love being... Oh, I don't know if I should say that or if it's encroaching somehow. Okay, um, I love being a part of the family you already have. So, I want to stay close to you. I love you a lot. Um, in the future, you know, if, if everything goes well and, um, oh gosh, Okay, what I'm trying to say is, I know you're a busy guy, um, you might not want more kids, and I'm just trying to say, I'm so okay with, you know, yeah, <laughs> yeah, thank you for saying it for me. I'm okay with raising the child you have. I don't need, like, you know, a child of my own. Yeah. I just, I had it in my mind and I didn't really know how to say it. But I know, um, I know you're busy and I know one kid is stressful and I didn't want you to think, like, there was any pressure in the future to... Yeah. Well, I wanted to tell you that like a month ago, and then this happens, and you decided to get caught up in November, and then you started talking to me less because... <sighs> mm. I don't like when you play dumb. Just say you're sorry. There are so many ways we can stay close, don't you know that? Just take me out on a date. I love talking to you, and I could listen to you for hours. I just want to be near you. Do I really have to spell it out for you? How dumb do you think I am? Okay, <laughs> that's it. November is over as far as you're concerned. Sorry, I guess it's ending a day early. Hi, I'm Faniva. 
thank you so much for watching the preview. You can see the full-length mature version on my Patreon in the description. That content is uploaded to Patreon every Friday, and sometimes other days as a bonus. I upload the safer work portions here like you've seen today, but please don't worry if you're only here for my safer work content. I post full-length safer work videos here on YouTube every single Sunday. Thank you so much for watching, and please subscribe.